Hello guys, welcome back, it is Phantom Enterprise here and today I am going to show you how to use Plots Modeler to build corners in Minecraft. Plots Modeler is an application that you can find on google.com. If you search plots.co.uk it will send you to the website. And today I am going to teach you how to make three different kinds of corners. So we're going to begin with this one up here, move on to that one and eventually on to that one. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the shape that we're going to go with, this is Plots Modeler. The shape that we're going to go with, we have a selection of shapes. We can do Sphere, Ellipsoid, Taurus, Ellipse, Observatory, Wizard Tower, Lighthouse, or Giant Snowman. Now we don't need any of like most of these, the only one we're going to use today, the one that I use, is Taurus. So to begin, what you do using Taurus is, I change the thickness down to 1, and I keep the precision on 5. We always use 2D when we make corners, and what I basically do is I find the number that works for me to begin the tutorial. Now I've already pre-planned this, yours may be different. However, you will always use odd numbers instead of even numbers. So for every row that you use, how I do it is I go up in two numbers each time. So if I start on 17, my next one will be 19, 21, 23, 25, 27, so on, so on, so on. It won't be 17, 18, 19. So we'll use 2D so I can give you a brief rundown of how it works. So the side of your stand, the, the straight side of your stand is always the straight side of a circle. So in this case, it is three. So I'll show you what I mean. The, the parts that we're going to focus on here are the actual curve, which is the two, one, one, two. So we have to memorize that, go back into Minecraft. We come down here, we grab the gray, light gray wool, and that is our side of three. That is also a side of three. We go two, one, one, two. Now to do the next row backwards, we do the same process again, but this time we go up to 19, not 18, 19. And we go on 2D. This time it's changed to a four. So what I'm going to show you to do when it changes to a four is you do the same shape once again. But when it changes to a 4, you come out 1. So every time the straight side changes number, when it changes to a 4, a 5, a 6, a 7, whatever, you come out 1 for the remainder of the parts that you haven't done. So we come out 1. That is now 4. So if I go back into Plots Modeler, it goes 3, 2. And that is changed to the 4, 3, 2. And then 2, 3. Or if you like, also 3, 2 from the other side. So if we go back into Minecraft, that is our starting point. So there is 4, we come down 1, go 1, 2, that's our 3, 1, 2. From that side, we start there, 1, 2 gets us the 3, 1, 2. And now we have a gap in here which we just fill in with light gray wool. So for the time being, the rest of them will be fours. So if we go back into Plots Modeler, we go up another two. Now we are on to 21, which means we get a two, a one, a one, a one, and a two. So back into Minecraft. Two, one, 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 two. Now, when we're doing this, we want to repeat the same process. So um, initially, I'm just showing you how to do the actual corner. So that is how, how we, how we, how we, how we would do the corner. Now, what I'm going to show you to do next is how to apply the red bits. So, um, in terms of what we did, in terms of the actual seating, in terms of what we did, we started on 17, which was our first row, and then we went to 19. So from 19. From 19, we got a straight edge of 4, and a 3, 2, and a 3, 2, which means when we go into Minecraft and apply the red wool, 
we get a four, a four, and we're gonna add that onto every red bit because it will be on every red bit, every red wool bit. Like so, so we come down one and we do one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Four of a bit behind, again, we use 21, like we've already put in. So we had a two, one, 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 two. So we get two, one, 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 two. Now we have another gray wool bit behind, which we are going to use for the gap. So we're gonna go up another two, which gets us to 23. And we get a two. And then we get what I call a triple Z. So it makes a Z shape. And I call it a triple Z because it goes two, 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 one. And I'll show you how to apply that in Minecraft once again. So we get starting from here, two. And we get a, a little angle like that. And another little angle like that. And finally another little angle like that. So that creates the same shape. I call it triple Z because I don't really have a proper term for it. That's always the way I've just sort of looked at it. And then we finish off with a number two. So now we come up in high, which doesn't really match. When you go up in high, it doesn't really make a difference. Again, you just go up another two. And you would get four, two, two, one, one, two, two. Something else I'll show you that you can actually apply. To this method, so if we go back to 23, we get the 2, triple Z2, and we go back to Minecraft. You can also count it out so you don't actually have to fill all of that in. Like one by one, you can go, so we started on 23, so the next one is 25. And, is it, sorry, hold on, give me one second, let me just fact check that, is it a 23? It's a 23, yes. So we start on 23, so this is 25. 27, 29. So if we now go back onto plots and look at 29, we can skip the rest, go back to 2D, it is still a 4, but next to it is a 3, Z, 1, Z, 3. So we start here, so that's the edge of 4, so we start here, we get a 3, we get a Z, we get a 1, we get another Z, and finally we get a 3 once again. Which gives us that same circular shape. Now we can fill the rest of that gap in with light grey wool. I'm not going to finish this full corner, I'm just giving a quick rundown of how to do it. And keeping in mind the same shape that we've just used for the back part of that. So we keep the same thing, so you count 3 above it. And then you get the Z, which takes you like that. And from here, you would do this. So you get the 1, the Z, and finally you get the 3. And you fill the rest of the front of it in with red wool. Now I wouldn't recommend doing this sort of idea that I've just shown you until you're a little bit more familiar with how to use Plots Modeler. For now, I just stick to one row at a time until you're more familiar with how to use it and then I get into doing this. This is how I learned. The first stadium I built using Plots Modeler was Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It took me a while to get used to, but eventually we got used to it. Yeah, there should have been another one there. Eventually I got used to it. It took me a while, but I got used to it. Now I'm going to show you a different kind of corner. So it's Using the same thing, using Plots Modeler, using the same idea, but instead of doing rows of three, we're doing rows of two. And this corner is a little bit shorter. So from the corner we initially started on, I lined it up in line with the corner to make it easier on both sides. Now it's not always gonna be symmetrical. You might find on certain stadiums you have a stand that finishes there, for example, and starts there. So it wouldn't always be similar. And if that's the case, I will make a more in-depth tutorial on how to do that at a later time. But this is just a brief description on how to use Plots Modeler. So using this one, 
because we are one further in, that means we'll start one less than we started before. So, if we go back to plots, we started on 17, which got us 2, 1, 1, 2. This time we're going to start on 15. So, uh, row of 3, we get a 2, a 1, a 2. So we will do 2, 1, 2. Next line again is going to be the 17, which would get us a 2, a 1, 1, a 2. And that is still with a line of 3. So we don't have to adjust this gray wall just yet. So we do a 2, a 1, a 1, a 2. And we're also going to put the red wall on that same bit. And then finally on this corner, we are going to do 19, which gets us the shape of 4, the 3, 2, and the 2, 3. So back into Minecraft. We go out one for each to get the 4. Oops. And we do the same with the red wool. So the red wool, we extend it by one block. For each one. And now we get the 3, 2. So I'm counting from there. So that's 3. That's 4. So that's joined. So counting from there, we get 1, 2, 3. So we get 3, 2. We'll do it again from this side. That is the first block out of the 3. 2, 3. 1, 2. And you fill that one in. And now we go on to the next one up. So we get 21, which gets us four on each side again, and a two, one, 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 two. So a two, a one, a one, a one, and another two. And again, we fill that in with red wool on top of it. create what we're creating. I will also give a tutorial late, at a later date once again on how to make stairs for corners and how I plan them out personally. It might not always be the best way of doing it for you but I'll, I'll give my personal detail on how I build corner stairs and corner gangways also. So the next one up that we do is we do 23. So we go to D, we get a 2, a triple Z and a two once again. So a two, a one, a two, a three gets you the triple Z and a two. So you can you can see that we're starting to gather a little bit of shape in the corners. So I'll finally show you how to do this corner. And once again, I'm intentionally made it so they're really close together. And I'd never recommend doing a stadium where corners start this close together. However, there is some stadiums out there that do have corners like this. So if this is the case, you just start as low down as you need to. I believe this is a 7. So we get a 2. Again, they're the straight side, so they don't matter. They're the straight sides you've already built. I'd never recommend building a corner until you build at least one of the straight sides that conjoins a corner. So we get a gap of 1. So back into Minecraft. There's your gap of 2. It doesn't matter how long it is. It could be 50 blocks. It could be 1 block. It could be 150 blocks. That is always going to be your straight side. Same as that. So your corner is the blocks in between the straight side. So you're 1. Now we go back into Plots Modeler. And we go to 9. On 2D, it changes to 3. And joining to that 3, we get an angle shape. So, we get 3. Come out 1 for each one. Like that, and we get the angle shape. 
Hi there. So we go back into plots and we go up to 11. Go up to 11 and we get three again. We get a 1-1 one, one on the corner. Which gets us 1-1. One, one. Put the red wool above it to mark out where the seats will be. Go back into Plots Modeler. We go up to 13 this time. We get a double Z. It's what I call it, a double Z. So it's an angle conjoined to another angle. Creates a sort, a sort of W shape, I guess. But I call it a double Z. So that's what I've always called it. So that is our double Z shape. Our W shape. However you want to look at it. And then we go up a corner again. We go up to 15. So we get a 2, a 1, a 2. It's still 3 on the straight edges. 2, 1, 2. So we come in 1. We do a 2, a 1, a 2. So basically, how you look at it, you have your straight edge of 3, your 2, 1, 2. So when you look from above, it should create the same shape that it creates in Plots Modeler. Straight line, a 2, a 1, a 2, a straight line. Back into Minecraft. My bad. Apologies. Go back into Minecraft. And you get a straight edge. A 2. A 1. A 2. So we're going to fill that in with wool. Red wool. To create seeds once again. And this time. Because we're only doing a block of 1. We go up yet another set. So. We go up to 17. Go back into 2D, we get 2, 1, 1, 2. Go back into Minecraft, 2, 1, 1, 2. And again, we fill that out with red wool. Back into Minecraft one last time, and we'll go up to 19. Again, this one joins up with the 4 on each side, and then 3, 2, 3, 2. That's 3, 2, 3, 2. So, for each one, we come out 4, 8, 4. I right, like that for each one remaining. And we get the 1, 2, 3. And the 1, 2, 3 on that side. And we get the 1, 2 on either side. It creates that little gap again, which we fill in with grey wool. And that is how you make your corners. So for each corner that you do, you go up on numbers. So whichever odd number you start in, if you start in a 9, a 15, a 25, for each row that you do, you will go up to the next odd number. So from 25, you go to 27, and 29, and 31, 33 for each row. If you start at 9, you go 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, and that is how you do it. I will also teach some methods for how to build stands in the next video for different kinds of stands that you can build and different techniques you can use to build stadiums. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you. Let me know in the comments uh, any suggestions for future videos, but also let me know if it helps you. And if you have any other questions on how to use Plots Modeler, please let me know in the comment section or via Discord message. And I hope everyone has an incredible weekend. Enjoy your day, whatever time you're watching this, enjoy your day. And I will catch you all in the next video.